My name is Govind Rasaksika Senkun, a representative from Yotin Ra School. And today it was a pleasure of mine to speak about global communication skills. Because of globalization, our world is understood to be flattened. Because of the decrease of frictions in informations and capitals, in my view, the world is getting smaller and smaller. Distance from distance is shortening. Human race are prone to communicate and create more. It's undeniable that because of technologies allowing multicultural communications, languages and vitals, communities in this globalized world. To speak of global communication skills, English is often cited as a major language for diplomacy, business and science. English is used as the first language of countries to countries, since England to Canada, United States of America to Australia, and serve as a second language in many countries, such as in Asia, such as India, Thailand, Singapore, and Japan. Not only that, English is the first and second language of many countries. English is used as a means of communications for countries that their mother tongues is not English. For example, the ASEAN summit host is using English as a means of communications. This will speak in a wider range. I would like to speak in a small range as a visual arena. We, as a student, have the primary mission to study, to be educated, and develop our countries. To wire our education, we need language, we need English, because many things and research nowadays are in English. I have once had the parents of reading newspapers from Japanese, from Japan. The Japanese university said that they urge and order every graduate student to use English, because nowadays, the firm and organizations they not look only in proficiencies of work, but in communication skills. Furthermore, I would like to use the example of the United States. As everyone knows, the United States is the, where, the place where class of cultures are, the class of nationalities, culture, and race. In order to create understandings, they need a main language to communicate and to control those societies, and it is English. Furthermore, in these nations, there were two most of the influential speakers, Martin Luther King Jr. and the President, Mr. Barack Obama. Everyone remember his speech, Yes We Can. Everyone remember Martin Luther King's speech that changed the life of all African Americans across the world. This is the power of communications. This is the power of language. And they use English. They have speak in a very small place in the United States, but it affects all over the place in the world. In our countries, Thailand, date back to King Rama V. King Rama V has sent his every son and daughters to study abroad. Why did the monarch send his children from, from his arm? Because he wants his children to use English to create global understandings and come back and develop the countries. Thailand also needs English to negotiate and sign treaties for the benefits of the people itself, the economies, and the politics. I think that English in Thailand was now more vital than before. For world, for world arena, many international organizations such as United Nations, World Health Organization use English to create global understandings and to create peace and welfare for all peoples. These organizations also use English as a main media. Without English, there could be no globalization from Thailand, from France, from Japan, from many countries across the world. In summary, English, or language, is used to develop a insurance to be a successful person for a nation. A nation uses English to create understandings, sign treaties, and make business with our nations. And the world uses English to create peace and understandings and develop the welfare of peoples. I still take a firm stand that English is vital for nowadays. I recommend all of you to acquire these skills. Thank you for your attention.